Hi planners, it is Go Wild time. Welcome back to my channel. So today is the start of my vlogs for Go Wild. Today is Wednesday, so it's way late in the evening and the sun's going down. Welcome to my bedroom. Welcome to a hot mess of me. I've been prepping all day, getting things done, and um, I wanna share with you guys everything I'm packing the night before I leave in the morning. Um, I'm driving there with Desiree at Happy to Plan. And I just want to share everything that I'm, you know, getting everything together. So if you guys want to check out this vlog, and there's Pumpkin, then keep on watching. Okay, so here's everything. I just want to get everything settled in and ready to go um, because I want to be able to have some rest time tonight, make the kids um, or the family some dinner, and I still have to paint my toes and shower and I wanna blow dry and straighten my hair before. So I just, I need to get this done. And I definitely wanted to share with you all in a, a vlog style. So um, before I do that, cause I'm gonna put everything on my bed, it'll be a little bit easier to film so I can be hands-free with my tripod. But I wanted to share my roomy gifts. So, um, oh my gosh. So you guys saw my vlog where I was buying ribbon i got this at hobby lobby i will probably not buy this again i did not know it gets glitter everywhere everywhere so i don't want these on my bed um but they're cute little bundles um of you know coziness and wildness and just super cute so i got these off etsy they're personalized um disney luggage tags with their name on it so i have tina from planner girl Tina and then I have the sleep mask I have these cute llama socks and what I love about these is that the llamas are fuzzy and they have um, kind of like a desert theme to them so they give it like that Planaheim feel I absolutely love it so it's super cute super simple um, I had bought them gifts back in 2020 and I had given them their gifts early we met up and so this is kind of like a round two kind of a thing so I think this is cute I really love this and then here's Desiree's how cute is this super cute and um, her mask says namaste in bed and Tina's, <laughs> Tina's she's gonna crack up wake me up for wine <laughs> So yeah, I think these are cute. It's simple and easy. And then I got these bags to put them in from um, Hobby Lobby just for you. So, all right, so I'm gonna put those in the bags and oh, mine's over here, um, super cute. So I got one too. All right, so now I'm gonna pack everything this up. This is my main luggage for clothes, shoes, undergarments, a uh, handbag. And then on this side, um, it has a divider where I'm going to put all my uh, table mate gifts, which I have this popcorn. It's really big, so I needed that space. And then that way, this space won't, this space will be em empty when I get back. So this part will be for swag. And then I have another bag um, that I can put swag in. So I have my popcorn here to put in the goodie bag. Um, I'm actually putting my shoes and sandals on this side in this little um, packing cube. I got those off of Amazon. And then I have my blanket because uh, Plan Jam is outside. So this is going to work perfect for us to take photos. Super cute. Um, I got these at Walmart back in 2020. And then I put everything in a Ziploc bag for me to assemble my table mate gifts. And then I have these that I'm passing out. So actually, I should probably put those on top. Or just maybe put right here. Okay. And then extra candy. So the extra candy there. I have the popcorn bags, which I'll have extra because I only need nine and there's six in a bag. Um, and then I have my cute little llama. I bought this too back in 2020. I'm thinking about taking it just for fun photos. <laughs> Um, okay, so that is everything on that side. Okay, and so for over here are my undergarments. I'm going to pack that last, and I'm definitely, I'm not going to share that. There's no point of sharing my undergarments, but, um, because I need to put a bra in here, and then undies. But I have my socks already in here, and some other items, but I have this in a two bag. 
layers so it's kind of separate. So I'll put the rest of my underwear in here and then tuck that back in here because there's plenty of space. I love these packing cubes. They're really handy. Um, I got the leopard ones at TJ Maxx and then the purple set was like a big set from Amazon. So I'm using these Erin Condren bags. Um, I think I got this for my folio, I think. And I'm putting my shoes in here. So I have these black open toe boots that are going to go with a lot of my outfits. So I don't have to take lots of shoes because that's what I was worried about. I was trying to prep my outfits where I didn't have to take that many shoes. Um, I'm wearing bands. So I will have tennis shoes. So um, I'm not packing those because that's what I'm wearing to registration day or arriving there. I'll try to fix this. Okay. So I put my shoes on the top because I don't want them to get smushed. Then I have my wristlet here for dinner. Okay, and then I have two of these larger um, packing cubes. Just set this aside. Um, I do have room to put at the bottom of my luggage, like if I want to put extra clothing, which the only thing I have to add in here is my, um, my leather jacket, my dress I want to put in last. I wanted to wait to the last minute so it didn't get wrinkled because I didn't buy a steamer. Maybe someone next to me may have one in case I need it. Um, but yeah, I do have room at the bottom in case I want to put extra things like these shorts. And actually I have some pajamas. So I bought these at the last minute today. They were like five bucks. But um, so I wanted extra pajamas because the ones that I'm wearing for Planjama, I want to change when I get back because I'll probably be sweating in that. So let me do that first. So this is, the purple one is all my pajamas, active wear, like leggings. Um, I do have a swimsuit in here just in case. And my Disney ears and like my whole planjama outfit. So I put my Disney ears on top so they don't get ruined. These are new, I got these at the park. Um, I got this planjama shirt from according to Allie back in 2020. Let's see if you guys can see this. Super cute, I'm still gonna bring it. So this will be part of my pajamas for one night. So I'm only staying through um, Saturday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday I go to Disney and then we drive back home. Um, this is one of my Disney shirts. I've had this for a very long time. So I didn't buy anything new or anything. Uh, I'm just gonna use this one. I actually wore this to, I've had this forever, when my kids were little and I wore this to Disney World. <laughs> so I have that one. Um, it's supposed to be cold, so I have a leopard sweater. Let's see, these are just extra leggings, so I'm not gonna pull those out. I do have a bathing suit. It's a one piece that I can wear with shorts just in case anyone goes to the pool. I'm not really sure because it's supposed to rain Friday and just be really, it's supposed to be really bad. Like, I'm like, what is going on with this weather? So yeah, um, so it's a cute little one piece that I would wear with shorts. Um, I got these at Walmart, so these are another uh, pajama set. Definitely doing all the wild stuff. They're really cute and soft. I'm not gonna pull my leggings out. And I don't have a specific way of doing the packing cube thing. I just fold it and put it in there. Um, here are my other shorts for pajamas, which I think I'm gonna take these out. And that's why I was gonna swap with the leopard ones. Which a lot of this material is super easy and it just makes it really easy to pack because it's so thin. But I'm just like so shocked how much I can get into these packing cubes. They're awesome. Um, and I'm not really doing it by outfits because I can get all my pajamas and like loungewear and stuff in here. I'm able to get all my outfits on the other one. So it's not like tops, bottoms, it's not separate in that way at all because I was shocked how much I could get in here. So these are my socks. This is my plan jam. I wanna wear this on my head. Um, I have an extra long sleeve purple tie-dye that I did for 2020. I have my, I don't wanna share my 
plain jam outfit just yet. I mean, I did share this, but I'm going to share some um, pictures in a recap video, but I will definitely share that. But this way, this it gives you guys an idea. I'll put those shorts at the bottom of what I'm taking. And of course, it all depends on where you're going, you know, but you definitely have to check the weather because you know, you, you think SoCal, sunny California, which it should be. Um, it's definitely not doing that. I kind of figured that. We got a lot of rain last year, like in February and March. But it just, it goes in and out. Like this week is really hot. Like those who came in early really got some nice weather if they went sightseeing but it's supposed to drop. Um, okay, so this one is all my clothes. I cannot believe it. So I'm gonna take these shorts out. All my outfits. So what I'm taking, um, so I'm not packing what I'm wearing. What I'm wearing, I can show you guys really quick in this video since it's a vlog. So I have a jean jacket. I have a romper from for the welcome party, um, I was planning on wearing a leopard skirt, but because it's outdoors, because of COVID situations, I think, but it's cold. So I couldn't find a long dress. So I'm going with this tie-dye romper that I'm wearing with a leather jacket, which I haven't packed yet because I don't want it to get ruined. I'm gonna put it on top. Um, I have a shirt, a cute purple shirt with overall skirt for one of the conference days. I wanted the conference days to be quick and easy and comfortable and something that I feel comfortable in, that's me. Um, and then I have an extra night, um, like Saturday evening outfit. And because it's dropping, it's pants, some nice jean pants, and then a planner shirt. That's my other outfit option. I do have a nice leopard casual shirt. I have two planner shirts, um, which one of them? Is not in here because I'm wearing it the, um, arrival day on tomorrow. So they're Heather Kell shirts. I bought these back in 2020 and I just thought cute planner shirts would be cool to wear. Um, I know that we're getting a shirt hopefully. Um, when we bought tickets it asked about you know our shirt size <laughs> which I'm, I'm a little scared because I don't remember what size I got and I've lost weight if you guys have um, followed my weight journey so we'll see. Maybe I'll swap it out for something, but I do have extra shirts here. Um, so this outfit is for day two for conference. I did go with skirts. So this is like a knit or just like a t-shirt skirt. I wanted something super um, comfy because we'll be sitting all day. And if this doesn't work out, um, I, again, I have leggings in the other bag. And then I have an extra graphic tee. This is a tee that I got from Target, it's Pink Floyd. Um, I have some nice um, stretchy jeggings and then for Disney this was my other option was another uh, casual stripes I really like stripes so this I can wear with pants because I have a couple I'm wearing pants Thursday so I have a lot of jeans and casual tops so yeah everything fits in here um, again, the only thing I don't have is a dress that I'm putting in here. Um, and then my brawls and stuff, but I also can put a jean jacket in here. So that is everything. Okay, so what I'm wearing for arrival day or registration day, which is Thursday, um, it's kind of like meet and greets and you're just talking to everybody taking photos and just hanging out So I'm just gonna wear jeans. I have this um, planner shirt by Heather Kells um, I bought it off her Etsy shop. So it says planners and stickers washi tape and pens and sticky notes planner, babe It's just really cute. And then I have this as a cover-up. It's a long um, Jessica Simpson cardigan. I got it at Cheat Day Max. So that'll be nice um, for my dress this dress is so cute and I was like, I'm, I'm like, I'm not changing my outfits because I kind of changed a lot of it because of the weather. It's supposed to rain Friday. <laughs> 
in a hundred percent and I, it's, it's probably gonna be cold but I'm gonna bring an umbrella and I'm gonna wear this dress because I bought it and it's so cute I love the color um, it's it's a short dress but it has long sleeves and this is gonna be cute with my boots I'm going to a EC dinner party I got invited so thankful can't wait to meet other planners and then my um, leather jacket so cute I love it so I have two jackets and a cardigan and then one sweater so I think I'm I'm set okay so this is kind of like my duffel bag that I'm taking that is holding my toiletries um, I probably will rearrange some things once I leave but so this is a Vera Bradley foldable rolling duffel bag so you can pull where is it you can pull the handles out I always get confused okay it's on this side because it's kind of covered so I can pull it it's just a little wonky because of the shape it's not my favorite but it's what I have and I'm gonna use it because at the bottom it has it another opening so I can put more swag in there if I need to but this I'm going to set on top of my luggage because I also have a tote that I'm going to carry. Okay, so in here again is all my toiletries. I have blow dryer, um, a curling iron, a straightener, and then loofah. And then I'll probably put my other chargers in here for like my tech stuff. I just haven't done that yet. Um, so this is my toiletry bag, which I have shared so I'm not going to go into this um, but that's all my toiletries or it's mainly my makeup and hair stuff and then this is all my major toiletries like face stuff hair stuff body wash razors toothpaste toothbrush all that stuff is in here and it's in this nice Vera Bradley this is called Paradise Paisley I think it's really pretty I got it when I went on a cruise, I just love this set. I kind of took the whole thing. So that is all that I'm taking for that. And then it has um, a pocket here for things. Okay, now I have this Vera Bradley tote bag. Um, at first, I wasn't going to take the rolling duffel, but I was like, oh my gosh, where am I going to put all my toiletries? I could have put it in here, but it would have been really stuffed because, yeah, it just would have been stuffed. And I just want to have some extra space in case I need it for some reason. But in here is another bag. It's a reusable bag that has all my snacks in here. Um, I'm taking like milkshakes for... In the morning for breakfast, I have some chips that I prefer to eat. So I just wanna have that so I'm not like eating random stuff because I, I am on a, on a certain diet. Um, I have Quest bars, I have electrolytes for my waters. I have some Kleenex, really cute ones I bought from Daiso. Um, an extra pen pouch for my snacks. So when I go to pack my bag, um, yeah, so this is just all my snack stuff. The only thing that I didn't get, which I'm not bringing another bag because we're supposed to get a bag. I don't know how big it is, but I thought I could use that as another bag for swag. Um, I was trying to find a really large reusable bag like this, but I just couldn't find one, honestly, that I thought was cute. <laughs> so I'm like, they're going to give us a bag. So I, I think I'm good with carrying things home. Uh, I have my hat in here that I'm taking. Um, yeah, I think this is the only one that I'm taking. I love wearing hats. If you guys have, you know, checked me out on Instagram and stuff, I just, I love wearing hats. So I'm taking that hat. I usually wear a Californian hat or Angel's hat. So in this bag, it has pockets around the sides. So in here, I have my Canon, which also is going to go in here. It's just charging right now, so all that stuff's going to be last. Um, I think I'm going to take my iPad because if I film, I'm going to try to work on editing if I can. It's not going to be a big priority because I want to I want to be able to spend my time there and with others that I don't see all the time. So um, I'm still going to take my iPad. 
So this is for my Canon, it's um, photo sheets. I have my Disney lanyard. This I got from um, Disney World. And I also wore this when I went to Squad Boot Camp and I have like the sticker and ticket that they gave us in there. And then I have some other miscellaneous stuff. I have tape, I have plastic wear, Ziploc baggies, bathroom freshener, Clorox wipes. So I will probably put my, did I mention chargers? I'll probably put that in here because I have extra pockets. Um, I have this little spiral notebook to take notes and then all my other planner stuff. Um, actually a lot of it fits in my planner bag, which I'll share, but like this is going in here because I have space. And then I have one headband because I have hair clips and that other toiletry bag. And then I always keep my jewelry with me because I don't want it to get squished. So I have a lot of earrings, necklaces. I kind of put my necklaces in this separate case and then I'm wearing one necklace. So I only have two necklaces. The rest in here are earrings. A lot of them are hoop hoops. Those are my favorite. Um, yeah, so that is everything in this tote bag, which I'll carry on my shoulder. Okay, lastly is my backpack. So this is what I'm carrying with me to the conference. I thought it would be easier. It's from Modern Chic. Um, I got it off Instagram, and it's called Amelia. It's really cute. So I will have a video up of everything that's in here. I will be taking to conference both days and then um, to Disneyland. So it's super cute. It's going to hold all my planner stuff, the majority of it. So now I can start checking things off in my planner. Okay, so let's go ahead and start um, checking things off. So for toiletries, I have toothbrush, toothpaste, dental picks, razor, deodorant, Q-tips, sunscreen, face wash, moisturizer, contacts I'm gonna do with last, um, so I'll do that, but I just won't be able to share that with you all. So shampoo, conditioner, body soap, hand soap, lotion. Oh my gosh, I still have to go get body spray. I'll have to do that tonight. Um, makeup, hair stuff, blow dryer, straightener, my mini planner, pen bag, planner bag, Roomy gifts, table mates, snacks, Disney ears, lint roller, tape, uh, plan jama, PJs, regular PJs, one dress, pants, casual top. Uh, I don't really have, I didn't pack any formal tops. I think just one. Jacket, skirt, my overall skirts, haven't done underwear, bras, socks, one shorts, swimsuit hat, my tennis shoes I'm wearing, the dress shoes, slippers, small handbag, jewelry, and sunglasses. I haven't done my all of my charging stuff. I haven't done that yet. Sorry about that. You guys are out of frame <laughs> most of the time. I kept pushing my planner up and up and up. Okay, Disney ticket. Um, I have my luggage, tote bag, ID, and all that stuff. I will change out later, probably in the morning. And yeah, all this stuff, essential bag, I have that. Like all the stuff for my wallet, I'll do in the morning. Backpack, and then I just washed my masks, so those are in the dryer. Okay, I think there's somewhere else I want to check off. Oh, let's color, well, I'm not gonna color that in right now. Um, let's see. So I went to the salon and got my nails done, which I got dip. I've never gotten powder dip and one of them's already chipping and I already told that lady, I wasn't so sure about it, but I love the color. It's just one of them's already chipping. I'll have to fix that with my own polish, but I have to do my, my I'm going to do my own pedicure tonight. Hair color. I didn't get eyebrows done. I ordered my contacts, but um, like some other contacts that I wanted to get, but they're not gonna get here in time. Table make gifts. Of course, this that was like two weeks ago, but it's okay. Check all the bags. I got all that luggage set, tote, backs, backpack set. Yes, gifts, snacks, all set. 
Um, oh, I'm going to use a different pen for that. Shopping for outfits. I got the last thing that I needed, which was a, that cardigan, the leopard cardigan that I bought. I think that's it that I want to share with you all for today and as I get ready for this trip. Alrighty, planner. So I am packed and set for tomorrow morning. I am definitely tired and yeah, I'm going to use the rest of the night just to gather my thoughts and relax and um, just get a couple more things done before I can relax. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi friends. So it is day, first day of Go Wild. It is Thursday. I'm still in my house. Um, I'm waiting for Desiree to pick me up and I'm walking up to my studio because I need to get my um, iPad. It was charging and I get my iPad chargers and then we're going to hit the road. I am ready for this again. I'm going to try my best to vlog, but I'm going to also try to be present. Um, but I definitely want to take you guys along and give you guys a full experience of my first time at Go Wild and just, yeah. So <laughs> embrace it all. Come with me today as I share with you guys my experience for Go Wild and SoCal with a bunch of planner nerds. I wanted to share my outfit of the day. So this is for Thursday, registration day. Again, I wanted something cute and cozy and comfy. I am getting a little warm with this on, just going up and down the stairs with my luggage and things. But it is a little lightweight. It's really pretty. I love the gray leopard. I love anything leopard. But I again, I'm wearing Heather Kell's planner shirt. Um, and I have two layered necklaces across and some pearls. If you guys can see that. I'm not really the best with this outfit of the day stuff. But... I decided to curl my hair a little bit. Um, of course, I can never get it like the salon does. And I have a little clip in my hair. Um, wearing just some jeans and then my Vans. These are what I'm going to be wearing most of the time with my outfits. Just to keep it really comfy because we will be walking all day and standing in lines. But yeah, this is my outfit. So I am wearing my watch. I'm not wearing my, my uh, Amazon Halo because it, it's been... Through the ringer, it's really dirty, so I don't want to wear it. <laughs> okay, I want to show you guys my hair clip. Isn't it cute? I got it from um, the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I'm going to try to check things off. Um, my ride should be here any minute, and I just want to take the time to do this before we hit the road and you know get in the moment. So um, I did my pedicure at home. <laughs> Nothing too fancy. Let's see, and I packed all this, um, oh, actually that's not my packing list. What am I doing? Too many things going on right now. Okay, ID, vaccination card. I did do the pre-registration, but I just bring it just in case. I have my cash, I have my wallet together, I have my health card, I got my masks. Actually, I need to get probably two more disposables, because I did I need to grab two more disposable masks because I did um, wash my, I'm bringing a Mickey one and then I found the rainbow one that I was looking for. I have my AirPods, watch, chargers, oh my gosh this is hard with one hand, <laughs> it's like riding with my left, phone chargers, all the chargers, okay, um, I did get my uh, undergarments, bras, formal tops. Again, I didn't really pack formal tops. Um, I got everything. I think I'm good. Um, one of my bags downstairs, I cannot close. Okay, here's everything at my front door. And yeah, this tote bag, it's just not closing. I did switch some things around and I added an umbrella and I put some more like drinks in here from the fridge. So I have like two energy drinks. Um, and I am bringing my iPad, so I have that in here. And I put the, one of the bags of popcorn in here because um, I put in my jacket and I didn't want it to get squished. My leather jacket, so I put one of those in here. I can't get this to close, so it's just, I'm just gonna try to hopefully put it in her trunk or the back of her seat. I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, a lot of this stuff I will unpack once we get 
checked into our room and I didn't share this with you guys but I am taking this little spiral notebook again I will swap out stuff in my bag just depending on what I'd like to take with me to conference um, so that's nice I like that I can have space and change things out as far as planner stuff goes and then here's my bag I, I am gonna take this too again I'll switch it out and take what I need so I have my sunglasses, my central bag, um, Lysol, lotion, sanitizer, I'm good to go. And I put my mask back, he back here, so actually let me, oh, and then my, my little leopard sticker organizer back there with my mask. Let me go grab some extra disposable masks and I am ready to go. Hey everyone, so welcome to Go Wild and look who's with me, Planner Girl Tina and happy to plan. We're ready to start this week. So we're checking in Tina's room. We had an adjoining room, which was nice because our room wasn't ready. Um, we got here pretty early and we had like the best view. Hey guys, we are headed downstairs to register, super excited and Already, I've already misplaced my phone. Not really, <laughs> but we're already talking about that. If you guys know, you know. If you know, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> so we're all gonna try to keep up with our phones. Um, but yeah, let's go get registration on. zebra booth this is an opportunity for make and take to meet christina to take photos it was really cute this is where everyone's name was posted on this cute banner um, i loved live love posh's booth and here is an up close of the happy planner booth this was really fun it was a really big cute area and everyone just gathered around to take photos super cute so here is everyone. It was super exciting. This was all on Thursday, but this pretty much stayed open, um, I think, up until Friday or Saturday morning. But it was super fun to see everybody. So this was Avery's 
and they had the coolest setup. They had these fun stickers. It's some type of new glitter paper. It was it's super cute. They said it was it was going to come out in April, I think. Um there wasn't anything to buy. It was just a lot of um new things that are coming out. And then this is Christian Designs little photo booth, super cute and blue sky. And again, this is the Happy Planners. It kind of gave me Springfield vibes from the Simpsons, I don't know. <laughs> But here's a pan shot of the entire room. It was huge. And then we got to meet Amy. She was just sitting down on her planner. And then the rest of the gang came and we took pictures. It was super fun. And then we had lunch at Downtown Disney. And then this was our view from our hotel from the welcome party. So cool. And now we're just getting ready that Thursday night with everybody. It was so fun. Hey, Saturday night. Good morning everyone. It is day two of the Go Wild conference and it is so early for me. I am not a morning person, but I just cannot sleep. Um, I, kept he I kept hearing a lot of noise in my bedroom. I don't know. They were talking about it the other night at lunch about hearing noises in their, uh, the girls that got here earlier heard noises in their hotel rooms. And I was like, eh, but like last night it was creepy and I've been up since 3.30. But I'm gonna turn this around and show you how early everyone got up because I thought we were good. I thought we were good. We got up like at four. Well, I've been up since 3.30, but we got up and left our room around 5.30. So let me flip this around and show you how early these women got up. <laughs> so let's walk around here. This is the front of the line to these doors. So it's gonna pan around, all the way around. This level here. I'm assuming we just found where the line ends, apparently. So, I don't know, there's like a group right there. But then there's these doors all the way down, so I don't know how this is gonna work. Um, but apparently this is the front of the line. Let's see if we can ask these ladies what time they got up to get up here. What time did you guys get up this morning? Yeah! yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. Uh, I what time did you guys get up? Uh, we were here at like 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Like, people. 2 a.m. This is dedicated to Amy. Oh my dedication. Amy. 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 Morning. 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 Good morning. 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 Hi. Good morning. Your photo ops. You want to call up if you guys want ladies to like some photo ops. Let's do this. The lines weren't as organized, but it wasn't really crowded or anybody rushing to get through the doors. So it was pretty cool and chill on that part. And we did have to wear masks inside the conference day, so Friday and Saturday. <laughs> Other tables. Ah! I'm at 
from Lights Plan Our Action got us pumped and ready for the conference and we got to dance for both sessions. <laughs> I was invited to. This is my outfit for the evening. It's Friday night. Look good. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to have crop night. But it's just a cute little leopard dress from Francesca's and my leather Cali jacket. But we're going to see how this goes tonight. <laughs> So this was super fun. I was invited to the EC Squad dinner party. Uh, we were celebrating Etta V's new collection. She's so cute. So this was at the Irvine Spectrum, the Erin Condren store, and everyone came to look around, do some shopping. Um, they had a lot of great new stuff out, new collections. I love her collection. It's so pretty and vibrant. And it was just fun to um, see everyone and kind of hang out before the dinner party, which was so good. Thank you to Erin Condren for this. I got to sit with Marquita and we chatted all night. It is Saturday. I'm running late. My roommates are already down. I was so tired from Friday evening. Spent time with the ladies um, and it was just a really, really long day. So today I'm finally wearing my shirt. I didn't share my shirt. So it's just purple that says SoCal Planet High 2022. Um, really cute. I love the font. And I'm just wearing jeans in my Vans. I'm trying to take everything down with me this morning with the table mate gifts. So I actually had this reusable gift bag from Erin Condren that I'm going to try to take down. And then these are our cute Go Wild bags that they gave us at registration. So I am running late. And yeah, we'll see how day two of the conference goes. Ride of the it's day, it's a small good. world. Now, now, wherever you go. 
Hey friends, so it is Monday. I'm at home and I'm trying to figure out how to pack, unpack all of this stuff. So this weekend has been great. It's been a rush. I think meeting everybody in person is what did it for me. Um, thank you guys for coming along and watching my experience at Go Wild. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I will try to have a um, swag share video or something like that. I just, <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed with everything right now. So I just got home and I want to settle in and unpack things. And I have some prepping to do around the house. Um, just got to check up all the things that I need to get done, but I really appreciate you guys just coming along and sharing my experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I will definitely see you all in my next video. Take care, stay safe, and happy planning. Bye. Okay, I thought I would give you guys some bonus clips in case you're interested <laughs> on how all this unpacking is going. It's going. Um, so again, I like to be very organized. When I got to the hotel, I definitely unpacked everything and utilized the drawers and hangers and closets and I just try to keep things in like sections of my room because I just like to be organized. I cannot work in a crazy space. So um, yeah, that's a little bit about me and now that I'm home and I'm trying to unwind and I'm trying to do some editing. Um, I thought I would just share like bonus clips of me unpacking. So what I'm doing and things. So how I packed everything. Um, so I had those two big packing cubes that you guys saw, right? So one of them was pajamas and activewear and things like that. And the other one was like all my outfits. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got all my outfits in one um packing cube it was like the large one but I did you know utilize underneath and I put clothes under there so what I did with dirty clothes I did bring a trash bag because you know it helped with the smell but I mean oh my gosh not that bad of a smell but like you know when you buy trash bags they have a scent to them so that's what I mean it didn't really work out that way so I just decided to get rid of the trash bag and put everything in this one so all my dirty clothes went in here and then I just, I don't know how it made it work. Oh, I did have room on this side because some of the um, swag I left in bags. And remember, I didn't fly or anything like that. If I flew, I don't know how I would have gotten this stuff in a suitcase. Um, I definitely probably wouldn't have bought a duffel bag. I would have bought a rolling bag. But a lot of the things that I've gotten was like from friends, from planner friends. So... Anywho, I used this side to put other clothes in, but I put my dirty laundry in this one and then I put all the rest of my clothes in that larger one and it kind of just worked out. And right now what I'm doing is when I film my uh, swag share, I want to be able to give you guys a full like look at it and where I got it from and what was given me from Go Wild and what was given from to me from um, table mate gifts and things like that. So I'm just trying to give you guys a little glimpse of everything because I didn't want things to get squished. Like I had tumblers given to me and like all this here, this one bag is all from friends and table mate gifts. Um, this is all my planner stuff and snacks. I went through a lot of my snacks. Well, um, so I was really happy about that. The only thing I didn't do was get to do, mess with my planners. I didn't bring, I didn't um, bust out my photo printer there or anything like that. I didn't write in here one single thing. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that and recap in planners. That's something on my list that I want to do. And then this was a bag from EC Squad um, when I went on my EC dinner. But the rest of this, I'm just trying to separate out of my bag. <laughs> but that's a little recap or a little behind the scenes of this whole entire trip.